Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking to you quickly about the radial build menu, which is uh, the menu that you see here uh, when you hold the uh, right mouse button to select um, build parts. Um, I'm going to be talking to you about how you can add new build parts to this, um, remove current ones, or add new next and previous page options, um, like you can see here. Um, so to get started, we're going to, in the content um, browser, we're going to search for BP underscore building and you can see building menu page one page two so I'll just open up page one quickly um, so you can see it you can see as um, as it looks in the game it's the same in here um, if we say wanted to change the foundation um, when we select it we can see that the segment is enabled this means we can actually select it uh, the segment type is set to build part so that tells the system that when we mouse over this segment we want it to select the the build part that is set to and then our build part is actually set to the wood foundation. Um, we've got segment name and description. These aren't used when the segment type is build part, these, but these will be used when we set it to um, next page or previous page, but I'll explain a little bit more about that um, in a minute. Then down here, we've got a few customization options. Um, you can enable use custom icon um, and then set the icon in here. Um, so that will override the current icon uh, that you see here. Um, and to change a build parts icon, you actually do that in the build part list. So I can show you quickly, build part list. So uh, if we select the word foundation, you see we've got the foundation icon. So that's the icon that's currently used. But if for some reason we wanted to override it, we can do that with the custom icon um, options here. Then we've just got some pretty standard um, like icon size, position, um, color customization that you can play about with um, and then lastly we've got um, the icon rotation so you may want to rotate it in a certain way um, but that's pretty much um, all of the settings I'll show you quickly how we can um, set a segment to uh, be a new build part um, we'll do that in the page 2 because there's empty slots in here so I'm just going to find one that isn't currently full so I think floor yeah floor is um, currently disabled um, so you can see that enabled is ticked off so we'll enable that segment type we want to set to build part and then in uh, the build part we want to set this to um, let's do wood chest like that uh, we don't need to worry about the segment name or description because uh, that's taken care of us or taken care of for us by the item list um, and then if you want to you can you can have a play around with the customization settings um, you can actually see that we've got j just a white um, square icon uh, here and that's because if we go back to the build part list and search for chest you can see there's no uh, icon actually set here so um, if you want to you can set that up there um, so we're actually ready to just use our new uh, segment that's all it takes just enable build part and then set the build part in here and we're ready to use it so we'll jump in the game quickly to make sure it's working uh, I'll quit my backpack and we'll go to the next page and you can see we've got our wood chest it's already filled out the information for us we'll click it and we've got our uh, build chest here ready to use um, so now I'll show you quickly how to do next page in previous page and for this um, I'm actually going to uh, right click the page 2 we'll duplicate we'll call this page uh, 3 and what we're going to do is we're going to create a next button in our page two to go to the page uh, three. So we'll um, find another segment that's empty. Um, we can use the next page one because I know that that one's actually empty. Um, we're going to select enable, we'll set segment type to, um, let's see, next page. And here we can set the segment name. So that's this bigger text here. We'll do, we'll just call it ne next page. Um, and we'll put the description as go to next page like that we can set a custom icon if we want um, you will have to do this for next and previous icons so I'm going to tick that on and then I believe it's next no or more there we go uh, we've got the more icon again you can use different icons if you like um, so we've set everything up for the segment now um, but we actually need to go and select this um, option here and you can see we've got previous page and next page. We need to set our next page to uh, three. 
So it knows that when we select the next page segment, we want to go to page three. Now uh, I'm going to open up my page three and just what we'll do is just so we know that it's gone to page three, we'll uh, select this one and we'll just um, see foundation stairs. We'll just disable this one. So we know that if it's missing this option, uh, we're on page three. And then we can just save this, jump back into the game and uh, equipped, hold, can hold mouse down and you can see this is our page two. We know that because we've got our stairs and we've got our next page option. Click that again and now we're on page three. Um, on page three, we didn't actually set it to have its previous page set to page two. So we'll actually go back to page one, but we can fix that. If we go to our page three, we can find the uh, previous page, which is this one here. And sorry, we can go to the thing, the option up here. We can set our previous page to page two, like that. You can hit compile. And now when we jump in, we should be able to go between all of our pages uh, nice and easily. So we're on page two, page three, and then back to page two, back to page one. So that's pretty much it for the radial menu and how to use it. Um, if you wanted to, you could go down like a different route from what I've done. You could probably do like categories, just using the next and previous page options. Um, it's definitely possible. Um, you'd pretty much do what I just showed you, but with categories instead of next page. Um, but that's, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys find this video useful. Thank you for watching.